Hey, this is Syax, and before I get on with the video, I wanted to say thanks to everybody. Uh, I recently hit 50 subscribers and 10,000 video views, and well, it's not much, it's um, still nice, and I wanted to thank everybody for your support. Um, so, I did get a method, a working method for separating calves from adult cows after uh, they've been bred. Um, I just wanted to show a couple of the failed attempts first. Uh, this one I was utilizing water streams to uh, push one of them out of the way which works but it's inconsistent about which gets pushed so uh, when there's two in there they don't take up the whole space um, but when you breed them in a third cow uh, is in there then it pushes one to one side and drops them down through the bottom so that time it successfully worked but uh, like I said it's inconsistent you'll sometimes get the calf pushed off to the side so yeah I like that so that one doesn't quite work I, I tried the same or similar design with um, it just getting pushed to a pressure plate on one side which was a little more consistent and I was using a uh, trap doors instead but still didn't work perfectly and you see there it didn't even drop one down so that also was a failure um, but over here I got uh, a method that actually does work it doesn't use any water um, it has the two breeding cows on each side so uh, you can get them up into these feed tubes any way you want you just need two um, separate lines I guess two separate cues of, uh, of breedable cows going into each one um, then you can hit this button Th this is a really rough um, rough design it's not very pretty but it works hit this button here to drop them down in and then you breed them when you see one spread, you hit the top button, and it does the separating. So we'll do that again. This time the the calf will appear on this side. Hit the button, and the calf walks towards me. Uh, hits this pressure plate, which drops both cows down. Um, that piston head's holding up both adult cows drop down, and the baby cow gets pushed off into a separate tube and I've had 100% success rate with this as long as I uh, stay within the limitations which I'll talk about at the end but uh, I was gonna do just a little fast forward feature here where um, I show you know I'll, I'll breed it a bunch of times just to show that uh, you know it's 100% it's consistent alright so I'll do that now All right, so I did 15 or 20 breedings, um, and you can see that they are perfectly separated. Only calves in this pen, and only fully grown adult cows in this pen. So, yeah, like I said, as long as you work within the limitations, it has a 100% success rate. Now, uh, those limitations are... First of all, you have to be pretty quick. If I sit here and uh, you know wait for a while after they bred, um, maybe 10 seconds before hitting the button, um, it will potentially the adult cow will uh, walk out first, and this one will try to come towards me as well, and uh, they'll end up either getting suffocated or separated incorrectly. See this cow didn't didn't make it down because uh, it tried to walk towards me as well as the uh, the calf. So that's one limitation. Um, another limitation is that you have to keep wheat in your hands at all times. That seems to be what triggers the uh, newly born cow to walk towards you. If I 
if I have the egg in my hand instead, then it won't function properly. See, it just, yeah, it, it broke, but uh, as long as you work quickly and keep wheat in your hand at all times, um, I've never seen this system fail. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching, and um, please subscribe. I'd love to get more subscribers uh, and do more videos like this. Thanks very much.